Kobe, who is that? Is Daddy home? Let's see. Kobe, stay. Special delivery. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, is it heavy? It's not that, it's just awkward. awkward. Oh my God, what you guys, this box. You know what this is, right? Like the beauty, biggest beauty blender of life. Where's this going? <laughs> I'm dying. Just put it on the floor. Kobe, what is this thing? Oh my god, he's so curious. Kobe, what is this? Is this the biggest beauty blender of life? Kobe, it's okay. It's a nice beauty blender, see? It's a good boy, just like you. Not for nothing, like this packaging is such a waste. Like what am I supposed to do with this big thing? Okay, so I'm gonna like dive right into this massive package, but I just wanna show you guys the scale of this PR package because this is a real beauty blender. It is dry, and then here is the big egg, and it's crazy. Oh, it's so hard to do this with one hand. Um, but here are the first set of foundations. Kobe, leave it. He like wants to go for the beauty blender so badly. Uh, but here are the first set of the foundations and this is actually the dark shade range, I think. Those right there are the deeper, darker shades. But then all of these, maybe it's just my lighting, but they look exactly the same. Like literally, this through like here looks exactly the same okay it has to be my lighting you guys because these all look exactly the same to me like this obviously these two shades right here are very fair but then all of these look identical like the variation between each shade doesn't seem that great but let's just take it all out okay guys so here are all of the foundation shades side by side and i definitely want to start off with the good first because the presentation on these foundations is amazing like i think that the fact that all of these beauty blenders match the foundations i think that's genius and so innovative for beauty blender to do and i love that they did that that makes me so happy and this presentation overall i think is just beautiful even though it, this is still a lot but this just sending this to us in a box would have been more than enough this is completely unnecessary. Um, I know I keep saying that, but I like hate wasting things and that's just gonna go right in the garbage. So um, anyway, that being said, let's move on to the actual foundation shade range. So a good way to tell like how many shades are per category, so like light, medium, dark, deep, dark, is just by looking at the beauty blenders, in my opinion, in this specific case. So as you guys can see, this container right here is all catered to light skin tones. Now I haven't swatched these just yet, but these are just my initial thoughts. And then this one right here, this container, don't mind Kobe's paws, he's just sleeping right next to me. Um, but this container right here contains medium, actually some light shades as well. So light, medium, dark, dark right here, and then two shades of deep dark. Or even you can say these three, maybe they are considering these three deep dark and these dark. I don't know how they're considering it, but to me, there's definitely not a balance in terms of each shade category at all in this range. And again, the beauty blenders, which you can clearly see, totally reflect that. Here, like you can really actually see like the accuracy of these color, like undertones as well as the overall shade range and i will say again that the focus of the balance foundation is definitely towards light to light medium these shades right here the last row there are a few like medium shades that would work for my skin tone just a few dark shades that like really random orangey shade and then the very deep dark shade which the last shade i think is beautiful um, but yeah, there's just no balance at all with the shade breakdown, which really, really disappoints me. And I was really hoping that, you know, the foundations would be darker than what you just see in the actual packaging, but that's not the case. This is the reality and I'm really, 
I'm really disappointed overall. Okay guys, so we are in the studio because I want you guys to see with my professional lighting exactly how this foundation works up close and personal on my skin. And I do have some breakouts going on right now. So this is actually a really good test to see how well this covers up. So in terms of shades, you guys, by the way, I will talk about like the shade issue at the end of the video right now. I just want to demo it, give you guys information about the foundation and all that good stuff. So I tried, I think like four or five different shades and I found these two to be the closest match to my skin tone. So I have the shade 370, which would be too light for me right now. It's just like one shade too light for me. So I would use this in the winter time when I don't have a tan. And then shade 375 is like my perfect match or like the closest match I can find to my skin tone like right now with like a little bit of a tan going on. So I also just want to quickly take a look at this sheet that Beauty Blender sent over with their foundation, which by the way, really appreciate this because this just makes it so easy to learn about the foundation. Actually, I also just want to say, they also did send over this little card right here, which basically says that, yes, we love hot pink, but we want to stay green. If you don't want, if you don't want to keep your giant beauty blender, we will happily recycle it. So I appreciate that, but I will still say, like over the top, massive PR packages is just such a waste of money, and it's just not good for the environment, and in my personal opinion, it's totally unnecessary. The presentation of this foundation in the actual boxes is so beautiful that I just don't feel the need for them to have like such a big beauty blender. But anyway, I do wanna say, going back to this sheet right here that they sent over, shade 375 is actually the darkest shade. I'm just gonna hold it up like this, but I will insert close-ups. But 375 is the darkest shade in the medium plus category. And then it just jumps right into deep. So they completely missed the dark complexion category. Like it says it right here. It goes from light to medium to medium plus to deep. So they totally missed the dark complexion, which is so shocking to me. Um, like especially seeing it like on paper, like from the brand, it's kind of a little crazy. So I have all the information pulled up on this foundation directly from Sephora.com. So it retails for $40. You guys saw that it comes in 32 shades. Um, you do get one full fluid ounce, which is like very normal. That's like usually what more, most foundations are. Um, the coverage is full coverage. It is a matte finish. It's good for all different skin types. It says that this is a weightless liquid whip foundation with a multi-dimensional velveteen matte finish that wears up to 24 hours. So I'm also gonna leave more information on the side right here about this foundation. Um, but anyway, I'm like very, very excited to finally try this on my face. So like I said, I have the shade, oh, I didn't even talk about the actual packaging. So I wanna show you guys really up close and personal. And I have to say, this packaging is genius. It's amazing. It's very innovative, very cool, very unique. But it makes sense because I've noticed, especially in like the past year or so, that like brands are launching all these like unique, almost like weird products that just don't make sense, just to kind of like get a reaction to make it like Instagrammable. But this foundation is so unique, but it's actually really, really practical. So I really appreciate that. I love like this frosted look, even though a lot of people don't like that because they feel like they don't really see the true color of the foundation. I personally think it's beautiful. I love that it locks. That makes it so easy to travel with and you don't have to worry about your foundation spilling everywhere. Really appreciate that. And I also really love this makeup palette. Um, I would definitely use this all the time to like mix my, you know, face oils or illuminators and just like mix it in with the foundation and then use it. I feel like that's genius. Packaging is A+. Plus. But now it is finally time to try this baby out and give you guys like my first reactions. So I'm just gonna take two pumps like this and I'm gonna take the tip of my beauty blender and kind of just like dot it all over my face. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and start to blend this out and it's actually blending out really, really nicely and it actually also feels really really lightweight I will agree with that for sure um, but of course I have to like see it completely finish all over my face before I give you guys like my actual honest thoughts for some reason it's like a little bit too light for me when I swatched it like when I just tried it out I thought it was like a perfect match I feel like now that it's like all over my face it's just a little bit too light 
like half a shade too light. So the next shade up is right here and this is the shade 410 which I can just tell you is going to be like too like pink for me. Do you guys see that? Like comparing it to my actual shade right here. Do you see like the undertone? This is very yellow. This is very very pink and I'm very yellow. Okay guys, so here is the finished foundation on my skin. I took two full pumps, so one layer, and this is the coverage you get. It looks very natural because you can still see my skin right through it. It still covers up everything so nicely. So really love the formula, but now I'm going to quickly go ahead, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. And I also want to see like how it looks with the rest of my makeup as well. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Alright guys, so I'm back, I finished the rest of my makeup and my foundation and my makeup looks amazing, like so nice. Um, it just looks like I have like this blurred filter on my face, which I love and I apologize if the sun keeps going in and out, I do have like my window partially open. Um, but yeah, I really like how the formula looks on my skin, it looks beautiful, the makeup on top of it went on beautifully. So I really, really love the formula of this and shade 375 is definitely the closest match to my skin tone. It is just a little too light for me, but like if I was to use like an actual face powder, like a MAC NC42 face powder, it would be perfect because it would blend right in. Um, the one thing that I am noticing is that around my mouth, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in person I see it. Around my mouth, it's starting to look a little bit gray. Like just a hint of gray, but everywhere else it matches me beautifully. So I love the formula, I uh, love the packaging, but I do want to talk about the shade range issue because it is an issue. So I actually went on Beauty Blender's Instagram and I will put this post right here so you guys can actually read along with me. And this is a message from their founder and I'm not going to read all of it. Um, so it says that I understand the importance of tones and representation as a Latina woman who has a multicultural family. And given that I've had the good fortune of working with some of the most incredible women of color over my 25 year career. I couldn't have gotten into product development without taking every tone into consideration. It would have been foolish to create a product if it wasn't one for everyone. I'm confident that women and men will find their shade and balance as we spend so much time focusing on undertones, which tend to be overlooked in complexion. Now I actually have to really agree with that statement uh, about the fact of the undertone. Even for someone like me, like I can always, not always, but usually I can find my shade uh, with most brands out there. The problem really is the undertone. Most foundations tend to be more on the neutral pinky side, not have enough like yellow golden in the undertones, which is why I look very like gray. It has like that weird pinky tint on my face. So I do agree with the undertone. Now with that being said, you guys, I will still say that the shade range is such a mess with Beauty Blender. By looking at this little card that they give you right here, most of the foundations, as you can see, that are in here are catered to light skin. Like even looking at this card, all of these are definitely on the light side. Even in this medium plus category, I would put these two in the light. Then you have a few medium shades right here. They don't even have a category for dark shades at all. It's just under deep. And then you literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades for dark, deep complexion. Like that balance is such a miss and so unfair. And I'm kind of like really, really shocked. Even as I'm like saying it out loud, I'm like, wait, how did they only have seven shades for dark and deep complexions? That that is just so crazy to me. And even looking at these shades right here, look at the light shades, you guys. All of these are light shades and look at the Beauty Blender. They look identical because the color variation between each shade is so minimal because they paid so much attention to the undertones. But with this guy, you have a combination of more light shades, a few medium shades, very few dark shades, and then very few deep dark shades. So again, there's definitely a huge miss with the shade range completely. And I'm just very, very disappointed in the brand because um, I really expected more from Beauty Blender. You know, they really could have done a better job at like, you know, creating even shades for light, medium, dark, deep dark shades, you know? And I think I did read somewhere online that they are looking to expand the shades. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think I did read it somewhere. Um, I will confirm that in the description box below, but it just makes me so like, I'm just always so disappointed whenever brands say that because it always just shows that 
light people because that's what this is these are people not just shades you know and whenever a situation like this happens it always just says to me that the lighter shades or the lighter people are a priority and everyone after that is like an afterthought and that is so disappointing especially like 2018 with the power of social media it's just extremely disappointing and again like i said you know i still love my beauty blender i really love their team they've been so kind to me but what is right is right and I'm not gonna like fabricate or say something just because I have a good relationship with someone. I wanna be completely honest with you and I would love to have this conversation with their team directly just to kind of explain even more than I'm doing in this video what went wrong. I think they were trying to solve a problem because of the undertone issue, but instead they created an even bigger issue by not creating enough shades for everyone. Anyway, you guys, that's it for this video. I'm so sorry that this was so long. This is probably gonna be like a 20 minute video, oh my gosh. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Before you leave, please quickly just subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my notifications whenever I upload a new video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.